Good morning. How are you today? This is day 16 of Granny Fit. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a bit flamed up today, I don't know why. Uh, we went out for date night last night. We ended up seeing a movie that we weren't planning on seeing. We were going to go see Randall. And uh, the other couples that had males <laughs> didn't show up, so the girls took a boat. We ended up going to see Gary made the mini movie. Anyways, it ended up being kind of a love story. We didn't think it would be. It was a movie about uh, a gentleman who was running in a political party, and his life had been decided by a group of unknown people. <clears throat> you probably know the movie. I can't remember the name. But anyways, um, I talked to you about other remedies my mother uh, had, and I have some vinegar ones here that I wrote down, so I don't forget the details that I'll share with you later. And I'll just sit these down aside right now. And we'll get right at it. So thank you for joining me in the Granny Fit 100 Day Challenge. And I hope that you are getting out and working out somehow, some way. And I uh, woke up a while ago, a few phone calls, and did my, I curled my hair again, trying to get out of my face. And I did my wash up. And I did the egg on my face, I think it's day six. And, I, and I'm noticing, because when I'm putting the egg in my face, I'm in the mirror more. I'm watching it dry. I can pull my skin in. But I'm noticing as I'm losing weight that the creases that you can hardly see when I was puffy are getting deeper. So I feel like this uh, program is uh, aging me a bit. But my husband says, oh, it'll all even out in the end. Just keep at it. I'm proud of you. And like I said yesterday, now I'm going to carbs. So I went to the show. I had a healthy, I made roast beef for supper. And of course, it was creepy. Reading on smaller plates, but it was still roast beef and gravy and vegetables. And then uh, I made those date squares, which I decided to give to the people next door who were remodeling their house. <laughs> There's a whole construction crew in the driveway right outside my window, and uh, they have a lot of coffee breaks. So I told them they're welcome to date squares. But anyways, uh, I just peeled the crust off. You put some um, applesauce on top of the date part and some more almonds. <laughs> Try to with bad cholesterol. But uh, then to make matters worse, after we watched our movie, we always go up for wings afterwards. And the guy's like, honey garlic and stuff like that. I thought, well, that's going to be pretty fattening. But it probably would have been a better choice. I ended up getting these jalapeno potato popper things. And weren't very big. There were six of them, about the size of a finger, like a mashed potato with jalapeno peppers that's deep fried. <laughs> so, and then there was a sour cream dipping sauce. So, I probably put myself back to square one in the last two days. Eric says, don't give in to your cravings. Be tough, you can do this. The world is watching. Well, it's a small world, not many people are watching. <laughs> But like I said, I like to cook and I like to eat. And lately, I like to eat more than I should. We're trying to rent a room up upstairs. And when you're renting to uh, different people, in a shared space, that's all a factor. Um, trying to make sure that there's a nice blend of personalities, that there's nobody coming in that's uh, annoying to the other people. If we only rented one room, as long as the person was trustworthy and paid the rent, it wouldn't matter so much. But when you have uh, two really nice tenants who are really quiet, and uh, one's a student, but he's really a quiet, gentle spirited young man and uh, quite pleasant to be around. Uh, speaks three languages French, English, and Spanish. Spanish. Really involved with the college and tutoring and helping other students. But uh, the woman who rents the other room, we seldom see her. She's out of town a lot. And uh, good tenants, both of them. And uh, 
We've had a hard time renting. We have three rooms, and uh, it's nice to uh, try to keep three rooms rented because students come and go, and the young man is a student, and he'll be leaving. And so, rather than have a gap in uh, our budget, it's nice to keep that third room going. What we really like is a long-term tenant that kind of stays with us until we step into God's presence, who is faithful to pay rent and friendly and helpful, but that's in God's hands. So the young man got a call when we were out last night. They, I don't think they ever too want me to rent their room out. I'm never enthusiastic when we get these phone calls. And we had a girl who's a nurse uh, inquire repeatedly, single, set up appointments to come and never showed up. So we're not sure what's going on there. Thinking maybe if she doesn't show up to look at the room, maybe she wouldn't show up to pay the rent. So, and I know that uh, the one tenant would really like if we had another female up there. We had nurses students last year, and they were delightful. That's <laughs> so nice. Well, not all, but one was, uh, oh, what was she in? Something to do with the, the city. But anyways, uh, sh they get along, they got along so well. We heard a lot of girl giggling and laughing, and they watched girl movies, and had very nice boyfriends who were very polite. So that was kind of delightful. But they were short term because they're students. And it's also, it you know, affects us as well in our home when we have uh, people coming and going, trying to get used to their needs and their wants and maintaining the space and keep it clean and tidy without being intrusive. It's furnished, we furnish it with everything. There's just pines, bedding, towels, everything. And I go up once a month, give it a good cleaning. Because we rent to adults, I kind of leave it in their responsibility to try to clean more regularly and uh, share the space with courtesy and respect for each other. So that's up to them as adults. I don't want to parent anybody. We had some other students look at it. And uh, because I run a clean house, no substance abuse, um, no inappropriate behavior, and I see these back both hours. When I get students to come, a lot of them don't come back when they hear the rules. They like, they like the room, they like the space, and they moved away from home to go to school, so they don't want rules. And so, and I'm not a lawgiver, not a cop. I'm just trying to make sure that it works out well for everybody who's there. to melt, I start to crave food. And she said, well, you gotta change your self-image. That'll solve your problem. You gotta stop thinking of yourself as a plump, granny, middle-aged person. You say the word granny a lot. She said, to try to age yourself. Uh, it always comes up on a conversation with your grandmother and your jokes. That I download jokes from my husband because he works with a lot of women and they, he brings in a joke a day, and sometimes dessert. <laughs> um, but if it's this time of year, they probably don't want the dessert anyway. Everybody's on a diet at this time of year. But anyway, uh, 
But he, uh, this friend of mine says, you need to change your self-image. Your problem with your weight is your self-image. I'm just going to turn this a bit. Here I am, up close. See those wrinkles? Isn't that horrible? Where are my eyes now? My forehead? I'm withering. You know, kind of like a leaf in the hot summer. They uh, get dehydrated and they wither because the weather changes. I'm actually going to put this on my ankle now because this is the 100 day granny fit challenge and the five w's are wake up wash up workout wholesome beverage or food wholesome food's good too mine's liquid in the morning <laughs> of course i have an omelet as well and then of course your worship and don't forget your worship i'm going to do a few flop, belly floppy things here and um then try to grab well actually you know what? I'm being a woman. I'm multitasking. Let me grab this right now so I can read these to you so that we don't miss this valuable information and then I'll do my, my roll ups here. I always have to keep moving because I get out of camera. Okay, one of my mom's favorites was vinegar. She used vinegar for a lot of things. She used it for uh, fabric softener a lot of times when she, before fabric sheets and dryer sheets. I'm not even sure my mom had a dryer. But anyways, I remember her hanging clothes in the line, and I remember in the winter, they were stiff, and she'd bring them in and stand them up in the corner. But anyways, vinegar works amazingly as a hair, like get all the stuff out of your hair if you've over a product, and it works as a fabric softener. When you dye clothes, vinegar um, seals that color in, so it's really good to add vinegar to the first wash after you've dyed clothes. A lot of people don't anymore, but I do. My dark clothes, like my gym clothes, which I've had for years, fade eventually, and I redyed them in the spring so that I don't have to buy new ones. Anyways, vinegar, um, uh, here is uh, another one here. <clears throat> Bringing down high fever, okay? And uh, it says, it's simple. Take a pair of socks, soak them in uh, vinegar, in the sink, of course, in regular white vinegar, then put them on your feet uh, of the person who has the fever, of course. Be sure to monitor the temperature while the, while the socks are on, it will drop in seconds. P.S. Me, want to have an old towel under the foot of the bed, under the feet, so the vinegar doesn't slop all over. Now, my mom didn't put the vinegar on socks and put it on us, but when we had a fever, she swabbed us down with vinegar and sometimes alcohol, or she put us in a bath with vinegar or alcohol. So that's just another one, and uh, thought I'd throw in there. There we go. So I'm going to pull and then I'm going to get up and do my leg kicks. I'm trying to go back farther because I'm thinking maybe it'll do a little more work on my tummy. Get my pear shape down, a little down. Three, four, five, one. Get a hand closer. Six, seven, eight. Nine and ten and eleven. If you have any old wives tales that you grew up with that you'd like to share or you'd like to have me share, just go ahead and post them on, with my uh, under my fitness video. There's a place if you look scroll down where you can make comments and post. I get a lot of posts on Facebook, but the ones I get paid for, I actually will get paid if you view my videos on YouTube and click on the little commercials that run along underneath them. Every time someone opens one of those little ads, I can get a paycheck. And because the government's only going to give me $25 a month when I retire, I'm trying to consider all options right now. So if you uh, are watching these videos on, on Facebook and making comments, take a minute, click on the little YouTube icon and bring it up on YouTube and Click on that little ad that runs across the bottom because it only takes you seconds, but if, if I can get enough people doing it, those pennies might add up and I actually might be able to buy groceries when I retire. <laughs> so, anyway, I lost count, so I'm just going ahead and do a few more of these little belly crunching things. And then I'll do my kicks. There we go. And these are the ones that are fun. I didn't kick that ball today. Good. Up. Good. Up. You don't see it. This room's in construction. All around me is boxes of drywall 